Hello everybody, it's Sherry from the CGH Health Foundation and I'm back in the kitchen with another easy, healthy recipe for you. And actually today I have a bonus, we're gonna do two recipes because these two things go together really well. It is zucchini season and uh, so we're gonna do a zucchini recipe and I'm gonna do a baked zucchini fry. And uh, this one is such an easy recipe. I use it actually, um, the exact same recipe for making oven fried green tomatoes, um, for doing eggplant that you can use as a basis for a really healthy eggplant parmigiana. Um, it's got a surprising ingredient maybe, and I have another surprising ingredient in the sauce. Uh, I'm gonna start off with this sauce. This is a pantry marinara. And I call it that because you probably have everything that you need for in the pantry to make this sauce. Um, and I really like it better than any jarred or canned sauce that I've ever taught uh, or tried. And uh, one of the reasons for that is that you can uh, control everything. You control how much sugar, salt, uh, fat, there's no oil in this recipe and some commercial products have oil in them and um, no preservatives, obviously. Um, so it's really healthy. Um, I like to make mine a little bit spicy and so I can customize the spice level. Uh, but I'm gonna start off with the sauce recipe. So here in this pot, I have a cup and a half of vegetable broth that is coming to a boil. And you can use water if you would like. I prefer to use vegetable broth. I think, think it kind of adds a depth of flavor to the sauce. So the cup and a half of vegetable broth is already boiling and I'm adding to the vegetable broth two cans. These are the six ounce cans of tomato paste. Carefully, I'm gonna get that in there. And I was lucky I found a no salt added tomato paste. Um, it's kind of hard to find, but if you can find it, that uh, cuts the sodium level down a little bit more in the sauce. The surprising ingredient here, um, I think every good marinara sauce uh, has to have a little bit of sweet in it. I'm using two tablespoons of maple syrup as the sweetener for this sauce. And then here come the spices. Uh, so the spices, I've got a teaspoon and a half of dried oregano. Uh, there's a teaspoon and a half of dried thyme. Two teaspoons of uh, garlic powder a teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of dried basil. Um, and there in the middle, I have a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flake. And I'm gonna just dump all of those in there. So that's the spices. This is a nice spicy sauce. So the Parmesan, uh, the fries, the zucchini fries, um, are gonna be kind of bland. You know, zucchini doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. And it's so nice to have this nice zippy sauce that you can dip them in when you get done with them. So just get everything all whisked in there. And then what you're gonna do is let it come back to a simmer and it's gonna simmer for yeah, maybe 10 minutes or so in the pot. And you've got a great marinara sauce that's good with these fries and also be good over pasta, of course. Okay, so the sauce is done. And again, like I said, just gotta simmer for about 10 minutes and you will have it ready. Now to move on to the zucchini now. Uh, I'm using a smaller zucchini. And uh, if, you, if you grow your own, you might be too late for these, right? I like to use a smaller zucchini because uh, it's gonna have a lot less water in it and the seeds are gonna be really small. Um, if you've got a big one like this and uh, even bigger, um, you probably want to use the smaller end of the zucchini. Um, there'll be less seeds there. Um, bigger zucchinis have a lot more water. So like I said, I like to use the smaller one if I can find the smaller one. Okay, so smaller zucchini, this is about the size that I use. I just trimmed off both ends. And you could do these in different sizes. You could do planks, you know, cut them into planks. I like to cut it into wedges. So I just cut the zucchini in half that way. And then this way. And then I cut each of those sections in half again. So I have a nice little wedge that sits up on the pan. And I'll tell you why I do this. If you make a zucchini fry that is a plank, um, you're probably gonna have to turn it halfway through cooking. I just leave the skin on. 
um, and cut it in a wedge like this and um, I don't have to turn it over. It just cooks the, that way all the way through. If you like to do the planks, that's fine, but just remember you're gonna have to turn it halfway through the cooking. So uh, in order to get ready to bread, I've got some breadcrumbs here. And the ones that I use, um, I chose a panko. Um, so they're regular breadcrumbs. Um, and then these panko breadcrumbs, they're just a little bit crisper. I think they're made out of, uh, uh, sometimes they're made out of rice flour, but they are more crisp than like the regular breadcrumbs. So you can use the regular breadcrumbs if that's what you have. And you can see I've got an Italian one. So that's got some Italian seasoning added to it. And there's about a half a cup here. If you were doing two or three small zucchini, that would be plenty. And I'm gonna add some grated Parmesan cheese to my breading. And just give that a little stir. Um, I like to grate my Parmesan cheese right off a little block. I know everybody has the green can in their refrigerator and that would be okay. Um, but the Parmesan off the block, um, it, it, it costs a little bit more, not a whole lot. Um, and uh, it doesn't have any fillers or anything. It's just the pure cheese. So I prefer to use that if I can get it. Okay, so here comes the surprising little ingredient. I'm gonna use some mayonnaise. Um, the mayonnaise is what's gonna get the breadcrumbs to stick to the zucchini. And using my little pastry brush, that's what I have here, I'm just gonna brush a little bit of the mayonnaise on each side of the zucchini. And then I'm gonna dip the zucchini into the breadcrumbs. Okay, press it down. You wanna get a nice little coating. You can flip it over then and put it on your cookie sheet. My cookie sheet has uh, just uh, um, parchment paper on it. Um, it helps with the cleanup a little bit. I'll do a couple more of these. You can see these are both extremely easy recipes. Coat another one. So you would get through all your zucchini, get them all coated. These go in the oven then for about 20 to 25 minutes. You'll want to check them. And um, the thing about uh, this recipe is that you're going to want to eat them pretty much right when they come out of the oven. Zucchini has a lot of water in it. Uh, so these are never going to get like crispy hard like a French fry would. Um, they're going to be soft. If you overcook them, they're almost gonna collapse. So stick to about 20 or 25 minutes, just enough to get the breading nice and golden brown. Um, and then you can serve them with the sauce. I have some that I prepared earlier here. So nice little piece of zucchini fritters with the spicy pantry marinara. Let's give it a taste and see. Mmm, really good. The other thing that's nice is that my whole house smells like pizza now. <laughs> so that was our recipe for today. The Easy Pantry Marinara, the zucchini fritters baked in the oven, they go together really well. And as I said, you can use this recipe with green tomatoes, you can use it with uh, eggplant, uh, works really good for both of them. You can find this recipe on the CGH website under the foundation uh, tab. And um, I also do a blog called What's Cooking CGH, and you will find um, this uh, recipe with all the ingredients on the blog as well.